Have you ever known anybody who asked, where is God? Where is God right now? Especially in times of tragedy, in times of suffering, loss, death. Has God forgotten about us? They'll say, maybe you've said that yourself. The Israelites 3,500 years ago, they were calling out the very same thing. Have you forgotten us? We're slaves down here. They're killing our children, if you haven't noticed. God was taking the very worst thing that these people could have ever imagined. And he's preparing to do immeasurably more than they could have ever asked or imagined. For right beneath the Pharaoh's nose, God was going to work to bring into this world the very baby who would become Israel's deliverer, Moses, the prince of Egypt. God is calling all of us to certain things along the way. One of the biggest reasons people's lives fall out of sync with God's will is to be in God's will, you've got to do the right thing at the right time. Moses had this inkling, maybe I'm supposed to be the liberator of the Israelites. The problem is he never bothered to ask God. He just plunges in on his own. And you know, we can do the same thing, can't we? Not only is God's will about doing the right thing at the right time, it's about doing the right thing in the right way. When you do the right thing the wrong way, you're never gonna find yourself in the midst of His will. If you hope to stay in step with the Spirit, if you wanna stay in the center of God's will, you're gonna have to have the right thing being done at the right time, in the right way, with the right Spirit. What comes after we have received the call? Every call brings with it a challenge. Moses learned pretty quickly that simply because God calls us to something does not mean that we are thereby excluded from challenges and difficulties and problems. They go hand in hand with a call. The two always come together. When we respond to the call of God, His expectation is we are going to join Him. That there will be something for us to do. And then finally, we learn from the life of Moses that there is something that we need to believe. And what we need to believe is that God is for us. And Moses, even in the face of criticism, even at the possible cost of his life, chose to believe God is for me, God is for the Israelites. And he moved forward. And God proved faithful.